Fox here. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so this is going to be the Unbox and AMD's brand new enthusiast grade CPU, the second generation Threadripper. And tell us more about it. I am Royden, and we have our CPU expert Jamshed Awari uh, with hey. us. So Jamshed, what do you want? You want to give us a lowdown on what this is, or you just want to dig straight in into the unboxing? What do you want to do? Um, so just just to set the yeah. tone of the whole uh, video, what we have over here is AMD second gen Ryzen Threadrippers. And these are CPUs with up to 32 cores this generation, which is an, a doubling from 16 uh, last year. And these CPUs are especially aimed at not just gamers and enthusiasts, but also content creators and people who work with extremely heavy uh, 3D workloads or who have to pre-render film or create animations or basically do any kind of work that really, really can benefit from par from parallelism. So, uh, as AMD points out fairly rightfully, just under two years ago, um, consumers could only get up to a maximum of four cores with a CPU that was mainstream, and maybe eight or 10 with Intel's Extreme Editions. And AMD came out with eight cores mainstream for its Ryzen 7, 5, and 3 CPUs last year. It added Threadripper with 16, 12, and eight cores in the middle of the year. And then at Computex this year, just said, hey, you know what? We're going to double it. 32 cores at the top end for enthusiasts. And um, the price isn't all that bad, but we'll get to that in a second. Yeah. So uh, this, for all those who, you, who, who are watching, this isn't exactly the box you will get when you go to a shop yeah. to buy it. So this is like a special media box that AMD has sent us. Uh, yeah. So, yeah. I, you want to do the honors? So we're going to be doing a full review soon, but AMD has sent us a kit that includes the CPU, some RAM, a cooler, and, um, you know, just because it's such a big deal to them, they have created this extremely fancy packaging. So we thought we'd show that to you. We've also got the retail box to show you, um, but yeah. for now, let's Take just lift this off carefully. Ta-da! That's your first look at what is actually okay. The back of the box, but uh, AMD let you know uh, very much that this is 32 cores and 64 threads. So is this the top model that they've listed over here? Yes. So this is the Ryzen 2990WX. Okay. What they've done is they split the line into two. So we have the X series, which is obviously a dig at Intel uh, mm. for the gamers and enthusiasts, and that's the 12 and the 16 core models. And then you have the WX series, which is workstation. Uh, with the 24 and 32 core models. And what we have right now is the absolute top end. So okay, let's so just comes that off, off okay. and show you this box. So what you have in the middle here is the retail box itself. This is the retail box, but AMD has just decided to make it a bit fancy for our benefit. So to show that off to you, AMD also wants that people- to this, yeah. yeah. AMD also wants people to collect and display these boxes, so compared to last year's uh, retail boxes, they've been designed specifically so that they can open and close more easily, and so that they don't look bad once the So you don't basically just take out the taken. CPU and throw it away, you yeah, can actually yeah. keep it as a memento. And a lot of people will. Mm. Um, so I'm going to put that aside, so this is the 2990WX, because so, what we've also got with us is the actual retail retail box of the 2950X. Okay. So this is the 16 core model, which basically directly replaces last year's uh, Ryzen uh, Threadripper 1950X. So there it is. So this, this is, is what this the, is actual the actual retail box. box. So you, yeah. You, okay. And it's this massive. This is what you can expect, basically. It's massive, yes. Interesting. Um, so that is it. It's transparent. You can see the back of it. The CPU itself, yes, it is actually that big. And it is mounted right there in the center in pride of place. Let's take a closer look at this, I think, in a bit. Yeah. Shall you want to see what else we have in this? Um, no, we'll, we'll, we'll look you at the You want to unbox this first? first. Okay. We'll so, okay, before that. we get to this, I think we have a question that's come in. Uh-huh. Uh, Zishan is asking the obvious one. How much does this beauty cost? Should we say that right now? I think we should. I mean, we're going okay, to get a lot so of price questions. So. There is a staggered launch, and we have the 2990 coming up first, and this is priced at 1,26,000 rupees in India. Uh, we do not have Indian pricing yet 
for the others. So we can tell you that the U.S. pricing is pretty much spot on if uh, taxes are not factored in. So eighteen hundred dollars, eighteen hundred dollars for this one, the twenty nine ninety WX, mm -hmm. uh, which comes out to pretty much exactly that amount in rupees before taxes. And uh, the Ryzen Threadripper 2950 with 16 cores that we have over here is exactly half as much. Uh, so $1,800 for that one and $900 for this one. $899 versus $799. Uh, $1,799, sorry. And the 2920X, which has 12 cores, is priced at $649 US dollars. And the 2970WX with 24 cores is priced at $1,299 US dollars. And uh, you can check out the specs, the frequencies, um, the cash amounts, PCIe lanes, and TDP on our website, gadgets360.com, where we've got full coverage of the launch. Um, so, yeah, you wanna... Shall we get to it? Yeah, go ahead. There's a very tempting tab <laughs> that just says rip here, so that's exactly what I'm going to do. That comes up. So I can see a clasp here now. And with that to the side. Oh. Yep. Very neat. The whole box just flips open. So that was it. And shall we pull this out? There we have it. In its little caddy, this is the Ryzen uh, 2950X with 16 cores. You can see that this is um, also designed to be shown off. You can pop this open. That is one massive CPU. Yeah, and here is your first look at the CPU itself. Yeah, it is massive. So these are actually called um, packages because there are four distinct CPU dies on this. Now in the lower end uh, X series, only two of those dies are active. And each of them has eight Ryzen uh, Zen Plus cores. Uh, on the 2990X, which is 32 physical cores, all four of those dies are populated. So any chance of unlocking them like you, you could in the Phenom? Every single one is unlocked. You no, the ones that are disabled. Oh, no, no. no. Those, are, those are just physical dummies which are there okay. to make sure that uh, heat sink that you press down on this is weighted, uh, the weight is distributed evenly. Okay. So, I'm going to pull that out of the box as well and show you the front and now the back of this absolutely massive CPU yeah. and it's heavy as well. So, speaking of, uh, so I mean, what sort of uh, motherboard would you need? What series of motherboard or chipset would you need for this? Well, is it backward compatible with the old yes. Threadripper? Yes, yes it is and that's very interesting. Because uh, AMD has not done what uh, what both AMD and Intel very often do, which is release a new chipset and have motherboard manufacturers, uh, you know, introduce new products yeah. just for the sake of it. So what we've got is the same fleet of X399 motherboards that were released last year, all of which are completely compatible. Uh, all you need is a BIOS update, and you can update the BIOS even without a CPU in the board. Uh, has software that allows you to flash the BIOS off a USB pen drive, and all you need to do is do is that, and they will be ready to go. Interesting. So, Wait, so Avi has a question in. Uh, he's asking, oh, will it yet. come to India? It is already. It has. It has just launched in India. Actually, can you tell us uh, some yes. more details? So the actual date of retail availability is the thirteenth, and in many parts of the world, you can pre-order already. Mm. A couple of Indian websites have listed these CPUs already okay. and you should be able to either pre-order very soon or just pick them up in retail on the 13th of August. That's for the 2990 and the rest of the models will follow later. Mm. Okay. So uh, meanwhile, while we are waiting for some more questions, uh, is what are the other like features or new features in this new series of CPUs that we haven't seen in the previous gen? Essentially, there's um, for the X series, it's just a couple of minor updates. Uh, AMD has moved from its Zen to its Zen Plus architecture. It's not a huge leap, but they're calling it second generation. So this is fabricated at 12 nanometers, and uh, there's various improvements in terms of cache latency and memory access speed. 
Um, there's also lower power consumption, which allows the maximum clock speed to go up from 4.2 to 4.4 gigahertz, okay. which is a nice little bonus for everybody. So um, generally speaking, anyone who owns the 1950X already probably won't feel the need to rush out and upgrade, but the 2950X is just a solid refinement of that. But coming to the WX series, there's quite a bit that's new. Obviously, the core count is double. Mm -hmm. um, there's a whole different memory architecture that you have to deal with because every single core doesn't have uniform access to all the memory channels. And you can read about that in great detail in our review, which is coming up uh, very soon. And um, yeah, uh, on the software front, AMD offers features that it calls extended frequency range and precision boost, both of which are designed to let users get the most speed out of their CPUs at any given point of time. If your system uh, is capable of it, and that means if the cooling solution is good enough, if the ambient temperature is good enough, and if the power is stable enough, the CPU will run itself at higher clock speeds, even higher than the maximum boost speed that is advertised for as long as it can. And AMD says that with the second generation Ryzen's, it's been able to smoothen out those curves and the frequency increases in 25 megahertz increments, which is already very granular, but it just does so it, it ramps up and down much more smoothly now than before. And the cores are also able to push themselves independently rather than having an all core boost and a single core boost and nothing in between. Interesting. Okay, so we have a couple of questions coming in about the socket and the type of motherboard that you would need. Uh -huh. So can you just... Uh... Yes, so this is the same socket TR4 okay. that we have seen with the first generation Threadrippers. That's it once again right there. Mm -hmm. um, so you can see that this is physically divided over here and that just shows you how um, modular the system is because it's the same Ryzen cores essentially at the basis, the same Ryzen architecture but just scaled up, just multiplied and, uh, you know, reaping the benefits of parallelism. So you can actually use exactly the same motherboards with just a BIOS update. As we said. Uh, a couple of manufacturers are pushing out new boards and what they say is that there's improved power routing, power management. So if you want to overclock uh, one of these 32 core or 24 core CPUs, you're going to need extremely stable power. Mm. So that's what they promise. At the base level, all of them will work. All of them will work very well, and in fact, you can use these with air cooling. Uh, but if you really push them and overclock, uh, MSI and Gigabyte in particular have released new motherboards, and Asus uh, has done something interesting, which is just release a fan kit, uh, which I actually have right here with me as well. So this is the ROG Zenith Extreme Cooling Kit, which is just a very simple, fan and a bracket that lets you clip this fan onto the VRMs so that you have better cooling over your uh, power distribution hardware. Interesting. So, so this is, is a that. separate thing that you can purchase? Yep, yep. This will be just an accessory that will clip onto uh, the ROG Zenith board. Okay. Uh, which I also have right here. So I can move that out. This yeah. is exactly the same board that has been for the past year but for those who are actually interested in something brand new we also have this which is the MSI Meg X399 creation and that creation uh, comes from the fact that the higher end Ryzen uh, Threadripper WX series is aimed at content creators more than anything else Mm. Okay, interesting. Uh, so you want to take a look, so what about the cooler that comes with it? Should we... Yeah, let's, let's have a quick yeah, look at go. that. So, while a lot of enthusiasts will almost certainly uh, prefer to have water cooling or an all-in-one loop, yeah. Could you just so, please... Yeah, yeah, I'll do that. Up? So while, before we get to that, actually we have a bunch of questions, let's okay. just maybe do sure. those first. Uh, so Avi is asking on which websites would this uh, the new Threadrippers be available and a lot I, I once again asking about the Indian pricing so maybe we should okay. go over that again. So uh, we do have the price in Indian rupees for the Ryzen Threadripper WX 
2990 sorry 2990 wx which is 126000 rupees um this is for the top end this is for the absolute top end model and okay. that will be available or it's already being listed on websites in india uh the rest of the models which is the 244 wx the 16 core x and the 12 core x will be available over the coming months um we do not have prices in indian rupees but we do have prices in us dollars it starts from 649 and it goes up to um 1799 for this and mm-hmm. if you do the conversion that 1799 dollars works out to almost exact 1799 dollars works out to almost exactly 126000 rupees so you can see that that is the price before taxes in india and uh, so we can expect Indian prices we can expect the other prices to be similar to, to the us ones so okay. that's Six hundred forty-nine dollars for the twenty-nine twenty X with twelve cores, eight ninety-nine dollars for the twenty-nine fifty X with sixteen cores, twelve ninety-nine dollars for the twenty-nine seventy W X with twenty-four cores, and seventeen ninety-nine dollars, which we said comes to one lakh twenty-six thousand rupees in India, for the twenty-nine ninety W X flagship with thirty-two physical cores. Okay. Uh, okay, we also have a little, a uh, slightly off-topic questions coming in about which CPU is better in AMD. So uh, one uh, viewer is asking: Is the AMD Ryzen three? Uh, uh, how is the AMD Ryzen three better than an i five in the broader sense of? Okay, so the Ryzen threes um, would be the lower end CPUs yeah. and. What AMD has done is use its advantage in um, offering more cores at lower prices. So the current generation Ryzen threes are available with and without integrated graphics. The Ryzen three twenty two to twenty two hundred G is available and has a far more powerful integrated uh, GPU than any Intel desktop CPU that is currently shipping. Um, it might allow you to save a little bit of money uh, and build a very competent. Entry level gaming PC. Uh, the Ryzen threes without integrated graphics are also available. Uh, there is uh, still stock in the market of the Ryzen three and five and seven one thousand series from last year, but we prefer if you get the two thousand series which uh, came out this year and are still being released. And uh, the strengths and weaknesses vary. What AMD has generally across the line managed to do. Is push out higher cores to get uh, higher scores in multi-threaded applications, which is now a growing number of applications, including games and everything. But they still lag behind Intel um, in terms of single-threaded pure um, burst speed. And you can check out our reviews actually, uh, which go into this in great detail at Gadgets360.com. And one more question, actually, Chennai Gamers is asking: uh-huh. Is the Ryzen 5 6600? uh better or the intel i5 8 generation better uh that's a very specific question we don't have the numbers off the top of our heads right yeah. now but we have reviewed the ryzen 5 1600 you yeah. can check that out um it will be compared with the most logical equivalent uh, intel processor um we would say that the 1600 is last years so if you can uh, get a 2600 um you should be able to find those at very comparable prices and uh, Should be able to uh, get a little bit of benefit from that. Okay, so I think we can continue yes. unboxing the cooler. Yeah. yeah. So this is an interesting little touch. AMD has actually worked with a number of partners, but it worked especially closely with Cooler Master and has come up with this. Wow. Which is called the Ryzen Rate Ripper. So is this also something that will come in the box, in the no, retail box? No, this will not come in the retail box. Unlike every other uh, second generation Ryzen CPU, right? Uh, because enthusiasts are almost definitely going to want to choose their own. But for those who do, hmm. uh, this is it. It weighs one point six kilos. It has careful this thermal paste on the oh, bottom. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah, it weighs one point six kilos. Um, What you can't see is a 120 millimeter fan in the middle, sandwiched by this massive array of aluminum fins. Uh, there are seven copper heat pipes on the bottom. They're painted black, but they are copper, and they feed into this plate, which makes full contact. I mean, this plate is sized specifically to the size of the heat spreader on uh, the Threadripper CPU. 
It's loaded with RGB LEDs, as you would expect. Uh, and it is suitable for up to the 250 watt TV value of the Threadripper 2990WX. Now, if you're going to overclock, and if you want to push the absolute limits of AMD's XFR capabilities and get uh, the maximum possible uh, boost speed for the longest possible time, uh, you will probably want to go with liquid cooling, especially an all-in-one liquid cooling system, which are also extremely affordable and uh, not that complicated to set up and use. But if you like the bling, and if you really want to show off uh, with your Ryzen Threadripper logo, this is AMD has officially licensed its logo to Cooler Master. And this, we do not have a price for it yet, unfortunately, but it will be sold by Cooler Master around the world. Any idea which, if it will be coming to India? Uh, we will update with that information right. as soon as we get it. Cool. Uh, so in the meantime, again, we once again have another gaming sort of a question. So mm -hmm. Mohammed is asking, which is the best motherboard for the Ryzen 7 second gen? Uh, Ryzen 7 motherboards, uh, you have actually a very wide choice. We would recommend um, looking at the platform controllers first. So while the second gen Ryzen CPUs are still compatible with the first gen uh, X370 and V350 boards, we would recommend the X450 and V450. And between those, if you're going with the Ryzen 7, the X470 is much more suitable. Um, it's not that they won't work, but those boards tend to be built better, and if you're spending a little more money, you might want the benefit of slightly more robust power routing. Again, uh, that makes more sense if you're overclocking, but if you're not, you can definitely save a little money with a B450 motherboard. You have your choice of uh, several models, dozens of models, actually, from uh, Asus Gigabyte, MSI, Astrock, Biostar uh, in India. Um, your exact choice will come down to exactly what features you want and what um, size you want. You will get them ranging from mini ITX size, so you can build a super compact PC, to full-sized ATX. Um, and honestly, it will work with any X470 or B450, but you're, you can send us a question. You can e email us, obviously, uh, leave a comment on gadgets 360com if you have specific requirements. So we can help you narrow down your choices, but if you're just asking uh, what will work with a uh, Ryzen 7 second gen, it's any of those. Okay, um, one more again comparison question, uh, Intel i5 8 gen or Ryzen 5, which is the best? I think there's any real easy answer for this. No, there isn't an easy answer. Um, if you're looking at gaming specifically with an external graphics card, uh, you might think that Intel has the edge right now. Uh, we are actually, though, expecting Intel to refresh its current desktop lineup over the next few months, so you might even want to wait for that to happen. Um, you can obviously check out our reviews at Gadgets360.com where we have scores. We put them all through games and benchmark tests, and you can see exactly what sort of usage scenario matches yours the best. Yeah. Um, you can also just look at prices, and when you're looking at prices, it's important to look at the total platform price, which is... Um, for Intel and AMD, you might tend to find that AMD motherboards are a little less expensive overall. So it entirely depends on what your priorities are, what your budget is, um, how long you want to wait between this and your next upgrade, and whether you're going to use it with the graphics card or not. Okay. So I think we can just maybe wrap it up by going through the prices again. So for those of you who are just joining us here, we basically unboxed AMD's latest enthusiast grade CPU called uh, Threadripper or second generation Threadripper. Yeah. Uh, the CPUs have uh, launched globally and they very shortly will be available in retail in India as well. So Jamshir, you want to just take us through the prices yeah. of some of them? Yeah. So what we have over here is yeah. the 16 core Ryzen Threadripper 2950X, which is a direct replacement for the 1950X, which was launched last year. And this is now the middle of the pack. 16 cores isn't the top end anymore. What we do have also with us is the, thank you, the massive 32 core uh, Ryzen 2990WX. Yeah, so that's, you can see the same retail package for both of them. Uh, not all of this, just uh, the box itself, which is like that. 
Yeah, so this is the actual retail yeah, packaging. Yeah, this is the actual fancy retail box. Yeah. And it's designed for you to show off long after you've taken the CPU out of it. So in terms of pricing, we have uh, the 2990 WX, top of the line, the 32 cores, uh, base speed of 3 gigahertz, boost frequency of 4.2 gigahertz, um, 250 watt TDP, uh, 64 MB L3 cache, and 64 PCIe Gen 3 lanes. Uh, workstation class CPU selling for 1 lakh 26,900, uh, sorry, 1 lakh 26,000 rupees in India. And that is the only one for which we have Indian price, mm. but it is very, very uh, equivalent to the US dollar price of 1,799, uh, and that's obviously before taxes with the Indian price. And this will be available on the 13th of August. Uh, below that, we have the 24 core Ryzen uh, Threadripper 2970WX, which is priced at $1299. Uh, Dollars, so that works out to. Um, I'll just tell you in a moment. Approximately uh, eighty-nine thousand two hundred and fifty rupees uh, for the twenty-four core Ryzen Threadripper. Uh, sorry, hang on a minute. Yes, the, 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 the $1,299 uh, 2970WX comes to approximately 89,250 rupees. Uh, below that, we have $899 for the 16 core uh, 2950X, which we just showed you. Uh, and that comes to approximately 61,775 rupees. And below that, we have the $649 12 core. Uh, Ryzen Threadripper 2920X, which sells for $649, which is approximately $44,590 in India before taxes. Okay, so uh, I, we have, again, all these details are there on uh, in the launch story on gadgets360.com. Yeah, so yeah. if you want further details on the new features and everything that's present in the new CPUs, don't forget to check out our new story. And we obviously will be uh, testing this soon, so stay tuned for our full review as well on the website. So, anything you want to add while we sign um, off? No, thanks for tuning in, yeah. everybody. Check out the details on our website and stay tuned for the full review. Sure. So, thanks, guys. Thanks for tuning in. And until next time, see ya.